So, do you think you have a superpower? Hmm. In fact, you do. Your superpower is linked to your Jupiter placement. Some people call this the planet of luck. This is where the universe doubles down for you. Why is this? Well, it's because Jupiter is how we can most easily expand ourselves. And our expansion is the universe's expansion. So it's a win-win. Now, a lot of things you'll read talk about not overdoing it because Jupiter is also the planet of excess. And wherever you have a lot of power, it might be so exciting to overdo it. I don't think overdoing it is super common, although becoming a supervillain is always a possibility. The reason it isn't super common to overdo it is because this area is where there's a lot of nobility. It's the most noble of the masculine planets. Unlike the Sun and Mars, which are much more selfish kinds of masculine energy, Jupiter is where we help others and we feel good about ourselves by helping others. So spiritually, is it the chicken or the egg? Are we helping ourselves? Are we helping others? Well, it's a circle. One side feeds into the other. And this is where we realize that we're all connected. Oh, how happy. Now for super villains, uh, because the world is set up for men to express their masculine energy more, I would suspect that it's easier for a man to be a super villain with their excessive um, Jupiter energy. But with the world changing, it's becoming easier and easier for women to express this masculine side of themselves. Jupiter energy is something that anyone in your life can experience from you, not just reserved for your home life. It's your philosophy, your views about religion, how money comes to you in life, travel, your higher learning. And more common than becoming a super villain and overdoing your excessive Jupiter energy is to underdo it. Wah, wah. So if somebody has depression all their life and they're just unhappy, definitely take a look at your Jupiter energy and see if you're really putting a lot towards that because this gives you meaning. And it's really hard to be depressed and unhappy when your life is meaningful. Jupiter is the most positive planet. Yay, that's why I'm smiling. It has the power to change your life because it changes you, it changes the way that you see things, that you view things, your perspective, and then it changes your actions through that change of perspective. It is literally the expansion of our consciousness as well as the whole universe's consciousness. Jupiter gives us that sense of positivity and wonder, that newness, that anything is possible, that dreams come true, that good conquers evil, and that there's a point to all of this. Because we are nearing the generational planets, Jupiter changes about every year. Your house is just as important as your sign. So when I'm going through these videos, make sure to watch the video that is for your house as well. So if you have the fourth house, for instance, definitely watch the Jupiter in Cancer video. Jupiter is very important, not only for philosophy, but also for your career, because it's really hard to have a career because it takes up so much of your time if you are not motivated in that area. So linking your career with your Jupiter gives you that sense of like, I'm doing something great for the world. Because remember, this is your highest expression of masculine, noble energy, the outer world expression. Now, one last caveat before we get into this. If your south node is linked to your Jupiter placement, this can get a little tricky because are you heading towards it or are you heading away? Well, remember for you that this has to be more nuanced. You are having to find that needle in the haystack and finding the pros and cons when and where you should express your North Node energy and when and where you should express your Jupiter energy. They're going to be opposites. You're looking for a sense of balance, finding that perfect little sweet spot, discovering the positives and negatives of both sides of the coin. This kind of attitude is also true if you have Jupiter's sign and house as opposites. So get out your yoga mats and let's get started. And Jupiter in Capricorn. Executive achievement is your gift. Your hard work is rewarded by the universe. Your efforts are doubled down. You have a talent for leadership. This is the ultimate CEO here. It doesn't mean it always comes easy to you, but it means that this is your destiny calling. Within, you have the ability to make those hard decisions and to carry the weight of those decisions. This is someone who has earthly wisdom, the hard knocks, the street smarts, if you will. Their philosophies are very practical and survival lessons that have taught them the value of hard work, self-reliance. 
You have the ability to teach other people about the value of hard work. And you have a knack for businesses that are kind of in the earthly realm. So that would be maybe buying and selling or real estate, goods as opposed to services, but something actual tangible, something that has structure and tradition. You can see the path and you have a desire for achievement and your standards are set very high. This is somebody who really wants to be successful. Now, because this position is in its fall here with Jupiter in Capricorn, some of the positivity, the natural enthusiasm, if you will, of Jupiter is subdued. So this person would have to work a little hard to be always optimistic. You have a vision for an achievement that is very high. Don't be too hard on yourself if it doesn't happen exactly as you wanted it to, but to see the big picture at all times. You can make your dreams into a reality here. Capricorn is an earth sign, and Jupiter is philosophy and vision and religion. This also makes for a great priest or preacher, somebody who is kind of running things and being the leader within a religious role, and typically something that is a traditional religion, so not necessarily new age, but more concrete. Take the reins. You have a strong desire to help the directionless or self-deprecating, a strong desire to help the poor, the aimless, people that need something to hold on to, something to believe in. For a Jupiter in Capricorn, hard work is a must. And when you work hard, that wealth just builds and builds and builds. It's something that is slow and steady and over time, it follows that path of a goat up the mountain. So by the end of their lives, usually a Jupiter in Capricorn is very wealthy. So be the hero you were meant to be and watch the ripple effect of positivity that it creates in your life. Hope you love the video and subscribe.